Oh, di ba? Eh, kaya ito na. Tapos may nagsabi dito, ayan. But don't you agree, B.P. Sarah and Aimee are not like their fathers and brothers? So what's the point, my friend? <laughs> Definitely, they're not like their parents or and brother. <clears throat> Pero, ako naniniwala ako, ah, yung kay Aimee, iyon ang tinatawag na buffer o kaya tinatawag na fallback lang. Na pag nawala ang mga Marcos, after ni, ni Pangulong Marcos, nandyan pa rin ang kapatid niya. Anak, o, eh, alam naman natin, pag nandyan pa kapatid niya sa tingin ninyo, pagdating ho sa mga uh, kailangan ayusin, hindi ho kakampi yung kapatid, huwag tayo maglukuhan. Huwag mo tayo maglukuhan. Hindi naman sila talaga totally magkaaway. Sana naman po, eh, medyo magising-gising na ho tayo, ha? Kasi... Uh, paulit-ulit ko sinasabi, Vice President Darat Duterte, nabudol ka na noon. Papabudol ka ba uli ngayon kay Senator Aimee? Eh, eh, maybe that's the grand plan. Diba? Kasi definitely, yung mga solid na Duterte supporter, hindi na ho talaga sila boboto dun eh. Pag nag-unite pa yung dalawa, mahati talaga ho. Mahahati ako, I'm sorry, but Tama na, tama na So Pag nangyari yan, hati At pag nangyari yung hati abay, mala, Baka manalo pa ho ito si Romualdez Dahil remember 6 million Kayang-kaya Ng Smartmatic Ingay-ingay itong uh, polis nato Alam nyo dito sa San Francisco ang daming pulis na. Dumami na talaga as in sobrang dami na. Pro-Pilipinas ka ba o pro-Duterte? Ano po ako? Uh, Pro-Tech. Alam mo yung Pro-Tech? Uh, tsaka yung ano, program. Yun po ako. So, yun lang. Maraming maraming salamat. Magla-live po ako mamayang gabi ha. So, siguro umaga sa Pilipinas yun. Pero maglalay po tayo every night dito sa San Francisco. Kitakits ulit tayo, babae. Of course, Laila Dilima has been released. Yeah. yeah. On bail. Pero sunod-sunod na yan eh. If you got released on bail, diba parang kay, kay, ano yan eh, kay GMA, no? ano eh? on bail yeah. tapos na-dismiss yung kaso. And then yeah. of course, isa na lang is yung allow the ICC prosecutor which might which would probably happen because di ba merong recent statement na pag-aaralan daw nila ng DOJ yeah. about itong ICC ano pag-aaralan mo when the president already said na no engagement tapos bilang pag-aaralan so ayun ang basa ko dito no na these are part of the demands of the west kay bongbong for whatever deal they have with them Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, remember, a lot of the frozen. Uh, and, and remember, a lot of the frozen fruits and vegetables are in EU. Yeah. <laughs> At alam natin kung sino yung mga nag-export netong mga <laughs> vegetables na to, no? Somewhere down south. No. <laughs> But okay, okay. So ang lumalabas dito, ang lumalabas dito is that inihingi nila nakapalit ng uh, trade benefits na ito ay ang sovereignty ng ating bansa di ba yun ang yun ang lumalabas no um, kasi apparently no uh, people might think that this is a personal attack on Rodrigo Duterte and it probably is di ba no and it probably is pero ang 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 ano dito is I think no uh, and I'm sure you will have your own thoughts about this ano pero ang ang lumalabas kasi talaga dito ang thinking ng West dito is they cannot allow an insignificant insolent little uh, populist leader from a third world country to challenge the authority of the mighty West, di ba? I think, kasi kung, kung, 
kung iisipin mo yan, sino ba talaga sa mga yan na nakakilala kay Laila Dilima? Alam mo yun? Sino ba talaga ang... Di ba? Uh, so, hindi nga nila malamang alam, no? Hindi nga nila malamang alam na as Justice Secretary, di ba? Laila Dilima defied the orders of the Supreme Court, di ba? No, na, na i-allow si then uh, well, si former President Gloria Arroyo, di ba? Na actually, mag- mag-travel, hindi-dinify na yun. Actually, dinify din niya yung order ng UN. Di ba? Merong, meron, meron, mm-hmm. meron doon kumain mm-hmm. si Gloria sa United Nations uh, mm-hmm. uh, parang committee on arbitrary detention. Sinabi noon, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, Gloria was arbitrarily detained. Ang sabi nga ni Correct. Gloria noon. Parang, basically, uh, uh, Laila Dilima during that time, eh, sinabi rin yung parang sinabi ni Duterte na bakit kayo nakikialam sa aming uh, judiciary. At ang nakaloka niya, Van, ang lawyer no, ni, ni ni Gloria sa UN, I see Amal Clooney. Yeah, correct. Correct. No? I was about to say the same thing. No? Uh, yung asawa ni George Clooney na isang famous na international human rights lawyer, di ba? Kasi itong, itong people in the West, ano to eh, tawag na ito, uh, sumasabak sila sa mga specific issues without really understanding yung mga backgrounds ng mga pinapasokan nilang ano, no? pinapasokan nilang mga gulo. So I think, I think, yun nga, no? Uh, they did not like the fact that when Rodrigo Duterte was president, sina-challenge niya yung authority ng West, no? E paulit-ulit, minumura ni President Duterte at the time ang, ang European Union tsaka ang United States, no? So I think, I think more than, well, yun nga, Personal din ito against Rodrigo Duterte because he's that guy who challenged the authority of the West. No, but but more than more than that, I think ang ayaw na ayaw talaga nila dito ay ma encourage yung mga malilit na bansa na alam mo yon na pumalag <laughs> sa European Union at saka sa United States. What do, you think? What do you think? You agree with that? Well, I think um pumalag na naman sa kanila eh. I think ang ano ko lang kasi sa Pilipinas kasi uh you know, it's the alam mo naman ang Pilipinas, it's the exhibit A of the United States na magta na pwede ang mm-hmm. import mo yung democracy sa mm-hmm. sa ibang ba ibang bansa. Mm-hmm. And Rodrigo mm-hmm. Duterte is like for them is the anti-democrat Correct. anti-democracy Correct. leader uh, na parang malaking uh, sampal sa kanila itong pagkaka itong itong si si PRRD tapos minura-mura pa sila na um, kasi nga you know uh, hanggang ngayon naman hindi pa naman umaalis sa United States yung kaisipan na we are just another real estate that they bought from Spain <laughs> no and masakit masakit yung ginawa niya lalo na yung minura mo yung presidente ng Amerika no one yeah. has ever that no in 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 such a such a fashion na existing world leader na imagine yeah. pini pini ay niya at pini yeah. ay niya ang presidente ng empire ang ang presidente ng empire so that's a huge insult for them and the united states doesn't really take insult um easily so and there's a, i think yeah. oh. ah, sige, sorry sorry continue continue kaya nga itong si Laila, matagal na naman itong hinihiling na nila si Laila na mapalaya. No? Kasi nga, um, the Liberal Party is the American Party in the Philippines. It's the yeah. most um, Americanized political party. And, I'm pre- and, and isa rin naman sila sa nag... Isa rin naman sila nag... <laughs> isa rin naman ang Amerika sa nag... <laughs> na nagtaguyod ng, ng LP, no? Um, yeah, so it's correct. most connected sa kanilang party. Um, it's a most, it's a most west, um, a mess west, westernized um, political party in, in the Philippines. So talagang they would look after their own. Na parang si Maria Reza, di ba? Can you imagine? Nagka-Nobel Peace Prize siya dahil ang kalaban niya ay si Duterte. So makikita natin, talagang asar talaga sila kay Duterte, no? Yeah. Uh, kasi can you imagine... All of a sudden, meron ka Nobel Peace Prize just because you you went against Duterte. Eh, while Julian Assange, who is already 
who has been, you know, celebrated all over the world, never been given a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Kaya nga. So, at yun nga tama ito, eh, no? Kumbaga, kumbaga pag tinignan mo ito bilang chess, chess o chess board, ang tingin talaga nila sa Pilipinas, mga pawns lang ito, eh, no? Sa kanilang global geopolitics. So, I think, ang yun nga, ang, ang, ang issue talaga dito is, The, U- the West will not tolerate defiance on the part of itong mga pesky populist leaders. Kasi naalala ko, uh, naalala ko, I- inano nila eh, binandel nila si President Duterte. Tawang-tawa nga ako noon eh, noong mga panahon na yon. Kasi binabandel siya, sinasama siya kay Xi Jinping, sinasama siya kay... Uh, Orban. Sito? Kay Orban. Uh, Oh, oh, si Vladimir Putin, yung si yung yung Brazilian, sino na yung Brazilian? Ah, uh, Bolsonaro. Kasi may Brazilian Bolsonaro. leader. Ayun yan, yan. Oh, yan, the guy. So, na parang feeling ko, parang alam mo yun, there are certain similarities there, no? Pero it, it's not completely accurate. No, it's not completely accurate kasi i- i-remind lang i-remind ko lang yung mga kababayan natin, no. President Duterte, no, came from the fringes. Alam mo 'yon, small to, ano to, the Davao City mayor siya with no national level exposure, alam mo 'yon, bago siya maging president, no national level exposure. Now, of course, Davao City is an important city in Mindanao. Pero pag ni-rank mo, pag ni-rank mo ang mga cities in the country in terms of importance, swerte na kung nasa top 10 ng Davao City. ba? Diba? Kasi siyempre, yung mga, yung mga cities in Metro Manila, mag-uunahan yun. Manila, Quezon City, Makati. That's outside of, outside of Metro Manila. Nandyan pa nga Cebu, Iloilo. ba diba, no? So, Davao, i, i hindi naman talaga maliit yung Davao, no? O hindi naman talaga unimportant yung Davao. I mean, in Mindanao politics, Davao is is important. But at the national level, hindi siya kahilingan ng mga, ng mga ibang more important cities. Hindi siya kagaya ni Binay. Binay, di ba? Mayor din. Pero Makati is the financial center of the country. Those are... Alam mo yun, those are two different things, no? So, kumbaga, pag inihilera nila, kasi alam mo, pag si Jinping, si Jin, si Jinping did not become leader of China overnight. Alam mo yun, di ba? Alam nila yung karir ni si Jinping, di ba? Rose through the ranks yan, eh. Well, well, you, cannot, you, you cannot be, <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot be the... The chair of the Communist Party yes. of China. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Maski nga mm-hmm. si ano, maski si Vladimir Putin, hindi yan uh-huh. overnight leader eh. Yan uh-huh. overnight leader, di ba, no? So, iba yung context ni President Duterte when he rose to power in 2016 compared to yung mga iba. So, binabunch bunch up na lang nila kasi in reality, Parang ito yung listahan natin eh, na ikaw number one, ako number 24. Pinagsama-sama nila, lahat ng mga enemies, alam mo yun, <laughs> enemies of the West, di ba? Nilistan nila yun doon, na hindi nila, hindi nga alam, hindi mo malino kung anong pagkakaparehas na itong mga to eh. Actually, ang pinagkakaiba kasi nila is yung who cannot take orders from the West. Kasi, like for Correct. example, um, is separate, natin si Orban, no? Siya yung gawin natin mm. case study. Mm. Hunger is in the EU. Mm. But si Orban, nagre-resist siya sa mga kautusan ng Brussels. And that's the only, oh. that's that's the reason why he's there. Hindi, mo, hindi naman nila mas, parang sinasabi nga nila ba, di ba, Pop, populist daw si, kasi nga di ba, yun, mm. yun yung trend nila doon, di ba? The rise of populism, ganyan, di ba? Yeah. Si, 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 nagulat nga ako, bakit nandiyan si Xi Jinping? Eh, wala namang personality politics sa China. Correct. You are, you are owned by the party, no? Correct. You, 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 well, hindi siya Correct. yung, okay, ako Xi Jinping, ako, it's, it's not like, 
even 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 in 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 Russia si Putin um I remember um they interviewed Alexander Dugin yung kinakatakutan nila mm. intellectual ng Russia no na tinata mm. <laughs> kasi nga siya talaga yung very mm. um sinasabi nila very uh, uh, right wing sabi niya mm. bakit yung may inaano si Putin uh, na akala nyo is Nandiyan lang siya, no, this is what the demands of our society na someone like you can rise to the top. <laughs> Alam mo yan na parang oh. this, ito, yung, ito yung ano namin kasi nga you have to understand Russia after the fall of the Soviet Union was finding its ground. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Na, 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 disintegrate yung buong Soviet Union over, yun talaga, over, yun talaga yung biglang, wh- where are you going? So, so ang ano nito, they cannot, they are um hindi sila sumusunod eh tama ka doon ano eh prof man hindi sila sumusunod so kagustuhan ng 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 west no uh, and mm. and so, si si Orban talaga yung pinaka telltale sign doon kasi nasa EU siya is it Hungary is a EU member country but they cannot make um him um just obey you know whatever the EU wants and and katulad dito mm. ng 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 Russia nakatulad dito ng China katulad dito ng 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 Brazil and and syempre add one out doon ang Pilipinas kasi ano ba naman yung Pilipinas in the in in the constellation of power in the world no if we if we get taken out of the world map nobody would miss us no parang yeah. parang It's not it's you know it's it's nothing um pero ang yeah. ano kasi to ni Duterte is naging famous kasi siya eh. Yeah. You know? Mm. Um he was covered and everyone of um parang parang nandito sa China no nag-aaral ako ang karamihan ng mga estudyante dito galing global sa they always ask me about Duterte. You know right. oh how- How was your leader Duterte? Oh, he's like the anti... Ang tingin sa kanya is the anti-imperialist, anti-Western anti, uh, hegemony, ganyan. So, yun yung, yun yung pagkakakilala sa kanya sa Global South kay Duterte. Of course, sa West, ibang pagkakakilala sa kanya. Pagkakakilala sa kanya is human rights violator, um, crimes against humanity, um, bastos, walang, walang ganyan. So, Misogyny at kung ano-ano pa mga ganyan, yes, di ba? Yes, oh. yes. Kasi wala din nga talaga silang nu- nuanced understanding of Filipino culture. Kaya nga, alam mo, in the West, di ba, parang flabbergasted sila na how can this guy, no, just as you described, no, uh, bastos, misogynistic, di ba, etc., etc. How can this guy have more than 90% approval rating? Hindi nila naiintindihan yung mga bagay na yon ano so that's why ang inisip nila i i compare nila kay ano no kay Trump no kaya nga alam mo kaya nga dito importante yung role ni Maria Reza eh kasi si Maria Reza immediately after the 2016 election di ba sumulat siya nung nung piece niya na yon sa ano sa sa may rappler na ako kawantawa ako talaga doon eh kasi yun yung sinabi niya, yung mga bots, di ba? yung mga trolls, yung mga ganun, yun na nagpanalo kay Duterte. Tawan-tawa ako doon kasi nagpaka-scholarly ko, no? si Maria Reza to. So meron siyang mga, meron siyang mga studies na si Knight. In-expose ko nga yun eh, kasi yung yeah. isang study na si Knight niya, ang basis pala ng study na yun, ang data ng study na yun, ay galing din kay Maria <laughs> Alam mo yun? Yeah. Exactly. Self-referencing. Self-referencing. Oh, oh. So parang ginamit niya yung study na yon to bolster her claim. Pero yung study na yon ang ang ginamit din lang ay si <laughs> Maria Reza. Tawa ka self-referencing. Yeah. De, de, ma- maganda yung actually um magan actually it's a brilliant tactic na ikinumpare si Duterte kay Trump. You know why? Because yeah. in yeah. you know why? Because in the West, Trump has a bad image, but Duterte oh. as Duterte would have a good image in in Europe. Because uh, for example, the Europeans are really anti-American, no? They're the anti oh. anti uh, anti. Uh, mal- malakas yung left sentiment oh. sa, sa oh. Europe. Pero ayon nila oh. Trump. Gets my own. Gusto nila kay uh-huh. Obama pero ayon nila kay Trump. So comparing constant repetition na si Duterte and Trump ay pareho ay 
ang na-associate na nila kay Duterte is Trump. So they hate him. Parang I can remember, Professor Van, I was, I, kailan man nanalo si Duterte? 2016. So I, yeah. I just graduated during the time. Uh, mga fresh pa lang ako graduate ka ng undergrad, no? So my classmates, so one of my classmates asked me, you know, he, he, he he's a registered, um, part siya ng, ano, ng parang, um, green party sa uh, Netherlands. Uh. Uh, Sabi niya sa akin, um, Sas, um, all the news that we're hearing about Duterte is this, 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 and you're supporting him. It's not who you are. So is there something yeah. that we yeah. don't know? So yeah. nag-meet ka pa dinner, tapos kinento ko sa kanya, ganyan. Ano mo sabi niya sa akin? You know what's the problem of, of Duterte? PR. Ginan niya niya. Yeah. Sabi niya sa akin, siya yung misya yung nagsabi sa akin na this is what Kasi, of course, he knows European politics, no? Sabi niya, you know what? This is what they're going to do. They're, they're, they're going, kasi nga, the businesses in Europe are very connected to the government at maano sa kanila sa human rights. So what they're gonna do, sabi niya, is they're going to highlight the, the human rights issue, etc. And that would actually um, uh, resonate with the people and then the people would demand that European businesses move out of the Philippines. Sabi niya ganyan. Yeah. So sabi, ayun, sabi niya, the problem with your president is really uh, PR. So sabi niya nga sa akin na, um, dito sa Europe kasi, we have, we are allergic to popular leaders. Allergic yeah, talaga. Correct. Kaya nga, that's correct. That's correct. Pag, pag ang leader, meron trust rating na 60%, 50%, katulad kay Duterte, nanginginig na yung mga yan. Kasi nga, they, meron allergic na sila because of of their history. Because Hitler, Mussolini, all of these are really, really popular leaders. And yeah. natrauma na sila pag popular ang leader. Kaya they look down on Orban, who is really popular. Kasi nga, in European right. history, um, their past popular leaders turn out... Yeah to pass will turn out to be mass murderers para ganyan or or yeah. yun na yung kanila association doon so it's not really about Duterte himself kaya nga magagaling ang ano eh magagaling ang mga propagandista ng left eh when when i was yeah. in the netherlands um merong ako inattendan na uh, forum ang mga talking points talaga nila van um lahat lahat ng ano lahat ng makakaantig sa puso ng mga European anti Duterte anti gay Duterte anti disabled Duterte anti yeah. kaya sabi ko mm, ano na yan um the, their propaganda was like i think that if it was effective kaya nga nagkaroon ng European Parliament resolution na ganun 